Hey guys, so I have some quick and easy Christmas boxes for you guys today and these are going to be perfect for treats or small gifts and you're going to be able to put a bunch of these together really quickly so if you're looking for something for a large group or something to put together last minute then these are going to be perfect and you're going to be able to grab all of these free SVG files from my blog at svgnation.com and I have left a link in the video description that's going to take you directly there so you can just click there. And once you have those uploaded, go ahead and add them to your canvas. I'm going to go ahead and cut all four of these boxes together, um, save some time, make it a little quicker that way. So I'm going to add all four to my canvas. All right, so let's just kind of separate these out. I'm going to start at the top. We have our reindeer up top. So for each of these files, if you see this square on top, these are actually going to be your score lines. So go ahead and start by ungrouping your layers. And then these layers right here, we don't need to do anything to. That's just the face features. And if you don't want the faces, if you just want a plain box, you can delete those. We're going to click right here on the square and go to your operation and just change that to score. And then you're just going to click on that group with the box layer and the score lines. And you're going to attach those together. And this just brought this layer in front of our reindeer face. So that is still there. It didn't go anywhere. So see, I can just drag that on top. And we're going to follow these same steps for each of these boxes. It's probably easier if you go ahead and drag it to the top before you change your score lines because it's automatically going to bring it to the top once you do that. Um, that way all of your items are together. So go ahead and ungroup this and click on that box right there and change that to score and then attach it to your snowman layer. And if you guys don't have, and again, your face is right there. It just went behind there, so we'll just bring that in front. And if you guys don't have a scoring tool, then make sure that you delete this box layer um, because you aren't going to need it. Oh, I want to move those together. All right, so now let's do this for the Santa. And I'm just going to drag this on top because it's going to make it easier that way. Go ahead and ungroup, click on the box, score, and attach. And then we can just drag that right on top, which you really don't even need to drag that on top. Those things are still there whether you drag it on top or not. All right, ungroup. And then we're just going to change this right here to score lines. Oops. And attach. Okay. So whenever you have like files that you bring in that are on different um, files, like different files, um, you want to go over here to your color sync and make sure that everything looks good. If you see here, this is a black, this is a black, and this is a black, but it has it divided onto three pages um, because they're on different files. It's just, it may not be the exact color code. Um, so I'm just going to take the reindeer eyes and drag it in with those black pieces and then Santa's belt I'm going to drag that in as well that way all of that's going to cut on the same piece of paper I'm going to go through and make sure everything looks how I want it um, I want the blue separate um, the white I want the white to also be with the snowman layer so I'm just going to drag this down here and drop it in that white right there let's see I think I'll just cut the Christmas ornaments red as well. So I'm just going to drag those together so all of those can be cut on the same red piece of paper. And then I think I'm actually going to use a glitter for the belt. And I think I want to use that for the stars as well. So I'm going to drag those in here. Okay, so once you kind of have this cleaned up so that you aren't cutting like multiple black on different sheets of paper in the same colors, then you can go ahead and make these. And one other thing before we cut these, if you want to resize these, you are able to. All you have to do is click on the layers. Make sure that if you unattach these to do the score lines that you click on both the layers so that the pieces get resized as well. And all you have to do is drag the corner to make it a little bit smaller or larger. Just make sure if you're using like 12 by 12 sheet of paper that the dimensions stay within 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Um, I'll go ahead and make this one smaller because I just realized I'm out of all of my white 12 by 12 cardstock. So I'm going to cut it on a letter size. Um, so make that kind of, let's see what that size is. And you can kind of look on here. I guess I need to keep it between 8 
and a half and 11, so I need to go a little bit smaller. So that should be a good size right there that I'm able to cut that on a letter size sheet of paper. And then it'll also give you an idea of how the box looks a little bit smaller. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make these this time. We're using our standard mat and confirm. Um, and right here, you can see that the score lines are exactly where they need to be. And you need to make sure yours are like that as well. Um, otherwise, you need to go back and make sure that you attach those properly. Um, because otherwise, it's not going to score in the right place. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of this. And then once everything is cut out, I'll show you how to assemble the boxes. Um, if you guys are using a scoring tool, make sure that you insert that first before you start cutting. And I am using the scoring stylus, and this is really easy to use. So if you are looking for a score scoring tool, this is going to be a great tool to get. I um, mean, you can find a link to this in the video description if this is something that you need to pick up. And when you do remove your paper from the mat, it's always best that you roll the mat off of your paper. This is going to keep your paper from like curling or ripping. So if you ever have any issues with that, this is just a little trick that's going to be so helpful. And then once everything is cut out and you're ready to assemble your boxes, you're going to start by gluing on all the decorative pieces first. And make sure that when you glue it on, you keep the design part to the bottom part of your box since the top is going to fold under a little bit. So all of your little design pieces need to be glued on that bottom half of the front. And you are going to want to wait for the glue to completely dry before you start folding the boxes. That way the designs don't bend as you roll it over and they don't fall off. And so once you've allowed that glue to dry, you're just going to fold on all four of your score lines and you're going to fold them so that when you lay the piece of the box down, like the designs are placed face down and then you fold them up. And then to close your box, you're just going to press like the Santa hats together or like the antlers or snowman hat or the stars. It just depends on which design you're assembling and you're going to press those down but when you press them down make sure that the sides puff outward and not inward and then you'll just slide one of the slits over the top and then just slide the other slit over and that's all there is to it to making these boxes and when you want to fill the box with treats or gifts all you're going to do is just pull off one of the sides but leave the other intact and that's going to make it easier to add the stuff inside and then just close it back once you've filled it up um, like I mentioned before, these are super simple and quick to put together. And you don't have to fill these with just candy. These are great for like jewelry or small gifts. And you can even use these to put money in. And they do fit great in stockings. So there's a lot of uses for these little boxes. And they're really cute. And guys, I do love that you guys have been tagging me in your posts. And it's been so fun to see like the different variations you guys have come up with with the different crafts. Um, so I can't wait to see what you guys do with these boxes. So make sure to keep tagging me in your posts when you post them on social media. And don't forget to leave a like on this video and say hi to let me know you're here. Because it's always great to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.